Coming today, the ferry is a new way to bridge visiting downtown St. Petersburg and Tampa. It's ideal for a leisurely visit, but would you use it every day for your rush hour commute? Lots to think about there. Leslie Lacey joining us now. You put it to the test yourself. Yes, I did. I tell you what, and it was quite an experience. Three words that strike fear in the hearts of Bay Area commuters are Howard Franklin Bridge. Well, the ferry is now an alternative to commuting across the bridge, but would it save you time and who does it benefit? So I compared the two commutes and here's what I discovered. I began by timing the commute from downtown Tampa. I included parking at the Silver Lot, walking, and boarding. It took just over four minutes. I checked the stopwatch again, and we are leaving Tampa. During my journey, I discovered a few things. It's a relaxing ride, and you can bring your bike to help reduce your commute to the office. I also had an epiphany. Well, here's a plus. I don't have to deal with distracted drivers. My only distraction was this rainbow that appeared. I arrived in St. Pete, a little windblown, and hit the timer. 55 minutes. Okay, so now it's time to compare the ferry ride commute with driving. So I'm starting here at Channel 8 because it's in downtown Tampa, and that's where the ferry service is. So I've got my stopwatch. Let's get going. The drive across the Howard Franklin Bridge was good, which is typical in the morning, and to the ferry parking. With the added time to park, just over 33 minutes. So if driving to St. Pete is quicker, what commuter would this benefit? If you work in Tampa and you live in St. Pete, it's a way of getting uh, to work uh, in 50 minutes without having to worry about accidents on the bridge. So I checked my traffic data from yesterday at 7.15 a.m. and heading to Tampa took 40 minutes just on the interstate. And that's with zero crashes. So comparing the basic commutes from downtown St. Pete to downtown Tampa, driving was actually a bit longer than the ferry. So I found the ferry could be a viable alternate commute for those living in downtown St. Pete and working in downtown Tampa. Now, obviously, you have to factor in walking to the office, and of course, that's going to create uh, more time on your ferry commute. It's also $10 each way, but the parking on the St. Pete side is free through the six-month trial period. But what do you do about the hair? Well, there's I mean, an you look like a mess place. when you got to the other side. You just like wind in your hair. <laughs> you know what? You can sit inside. It's oh, air-conditioned. Okay. Okay. It's really, really Really well, nice. They have concessions in there, right? You can get they a cup do. of coffee. That's right. And and if you're, you know, Friday night, you can have a glass of wine on well, the way back. Uh, you know, you didn't mention didn't that. Didn't know it was like that. Yeah.